We'll continue our look at using functions by looking at right, left, and mid functions, upper, lower, and proper, and the concatenate function. Once you get the hang of one, really you're going to get the hang of all of those functions. So I'm not going to go through seven separate examples. I'll just start with this one, the concatenate. And what I've done is that I've made a few modifications to the Western Conference. You can, of course, pause the playback and duplicate the same thing, or you can just watch and follow along because, again, once you get the hang of using functions, it's just a matter of swapping out some of these functions. So what I've done with some of the team names is I've separated the city from the mascot or the team name, and I've inserted a couple of other columns that I'll use for the functions. So we'll start with concatenate, and that is really shorthand for putting two things together. So I'll start with equals concat, and you don't have to type the whole thing. You notice that concat is one of the functions, or it's listed first there if you start typing in con. So fortunately, that's a, an abbreviation. Now, once again, I'm going to click on the function button up here in the formula toolbar, and then I'll just have text one and text two. So I'll use this to select first that value and hit enter. And then I'll hit tab to go down to text two. Notice that when I hit tab, it immediately adds text three. So you can continue to build this if you want to. So in text two, I actually want to have a space between the two. So I'll just do a space by doing the quotation space quotation and then tab again to text three and then add their select C26. So you can look down here at the bottom, and this is very helpful as you're building your formulas and functions. You have the results down here. So this will give you a great indication of whether or not you're on the right track. There's also this hyperlink. If you click on help on this function, you don't have to memorize all of these things. You may never use concatenate in your data analysis career, but again, you may. You may put information from a couple different cells together, and that's very common when you are pulling information, you're pulling data from lots of different database sources into a comma delimited file. So in any event, I click on OK when I'm done. I have LA Galaxy. I can use autofill and continue on down. Now there's also something that's closely related to that called flash fill. I doubt you'll be asked a question about this or asked to do this on the test because I think the 727 is going to have you focus on the functions and formulas. But if you simply start typing in, um, in this case, the name of one of your columns, LA, and let's just put a, a dash in between. And I'll finish typing by typing in galaxy. So LA dash galaxy and I'll hit enter. Now if I start on the second cell and start typing in Vancouver, notice that I've given Excel enough information for it to interpret adjacent cells. So now it's thinking that, oh, you want to start typing in this column and then a dash and then that column. And so now if I just hit enter, that is the flash fill behavior at work. So that can really make your data entry a lot easier as you're working with your spreadsheets. So in any event, that is a quick look at concatenate. Now in terms of these other ones, let's look at upper, lower, and proper. So that is reference to a case. So sometimes if you are referencing data in maybe building another column of cells, that your original data does not have maybe the printed output that you're going to want and you're going to want to put it in proper case or uppercase, you can do that by using a function to do that really quickly. So if you wanted all these things in all uppercase letters or all lowercase or proper case, this is proper case already, by the way, you could just start with a function. So I'll just type in equals upper. And so there's upper, hit tab on the keyboard, go up here, select that. So all I'm going to do is change whatever's in this cell to all uppercase with that formula. And again, there is the result. Click on OK, use autofill, and bingo. So as I mentioned, you can wash, rinse, and repeat with the formulas lower and proper to achieve similar results. Finally, let's look at this one. Let's look at left, right, and mid functions. Sometimes you're going to be bringing in lots of data uh, in a cell, and maybe you're just going to want to shorten, maybe you're just going to want to take a first name, or maybe you're just going to want to, going to, want to take the first couple of numbers from a entry on a, in a spreadsheet and then duplicate this throughout a column. You can use the left, right, and mid. So in this example here, I will take the right function, or I'll demonstrate with the right function. 
So I'll just start with an equals again, as always, when we're working with functions. And I'll start typing in right. So there is right. I'll hit tab on the keyboard, hit the function key up here, and enter in my function argument. So now I just select the cell that I'm going to evaluate and the number of characters. So I'll just take, let's just say, five. So with the first five characters that are on the right-hand side, so it returns a specified number of characters from the end of a text string. If I were to do left, it would start at the beginning. So it's just going to take five characters starting with the very end of the string, so city and then a space. It won't get to the S at the end of Kansas. So again, there's the formula result. Click on OK. I can autofill, and you can see the rest of the results. And if you look very closely, you can see that the first five characters, the first character in this cell is a space. First five characters there with the right function are the last five characters of N-D-E-R-S, A-L-L-A-S, M-B-E-R-S. You get the idea. So if the task calls for extracting specific pieces of information from a cell, be it on the left part of the cell, the right part of the cell, or from the middle of the cell, you have those functions at your disposal to make your data entry very easy.